Today's grocery market share release covers the 12 weeks to the 5th of September 2021. Sales through British supermarkets fell by 1.9% over the last 12 weeks, which is a slight improvement on the numbers last month. Everyone is looking out for a return to normal, and it is worth remembering we are nowhere close to normal, with the two-year growth rate still demonstrating just how much extra spending has shifted to the take-home grocery market. Despite high vaccination rates, the frequency of shopping trips remains similar to May, making me wonder if the habit of fewer but larger trips has now become embedded. Early September always has a back-to-school feeling, and this year it's not just for students, but many workers returning to the commute too, myself included. Footfall in the grocers was markedly heavier in the final week of our data. In fact, it was the busiest week, if you exclude Easter, we have seen all year. Shoppers were drawn to items you might put in the lunchbox, such as cereal bars and biscuits in the last month. Or back in the house, sales of chilled ready meals went up, a mixture of scratch cooking fatigue and the need for quicker and more convenient meals. Once again, the online proportion of sales has fallen back to its lowest level since May last year. It's not just that fewer people are shopping online, it's also true that people are no longer wanting to get as big deliveries. 18 months ago, the average online trolley was nearly £100, but that is back down to under £80. With the demand for deliveries understandably smaller, that meant that many retailers saw lower e-commerce sales. This wasn't a problem for Waitrose, however, who not only grew online, but in the stores too. So once again, the fastest growing retailer, Waitrose have now made market share gains for five months in a row. Tesco were the only other retailer to find year on year growth, with their supermarket and extra format stores driving the performance. While in annual sales decline, Sainsbury's Little and Aldi all managed to beat the market and so win share. Shoppers continue to return to the discounters, with more than 600,000 extra shoppers visiting Aldi and nearly as many for Lidl. Grocery price inflation does remain relatively low for now, but has moved upwards at quite a rate in the past couple of months. So far this year, promotions have shielded shoppers from the worst of any supply side price increases, and the number of deals on offer has been higher than last year when keeping the shelves stocked was a higher priority. That effect is now waning, and in actual fact, the current proportion of sales on deal in the month is the lowest recorded outside of the pandemic last year in our comparable records that go all the way back to 2006. Visit our website to see current and historical market shares or contact us to receive grocery market share directly to your email inbox every four weeks. Join us next time to find out if the nation really is heading back to work and leisure with all the opportunities that gives to go shopping if they want to.